Hi guys, Darth Dudes here back with a, another video and today we're going to be taking a look at some more McFarlane Toys figures but not DC Multiverse, specifically Spawn figures and it is the uh, McFarlane uh, Mandarin Spawn figures uh, both versions, there's two different versions, there's the uh, gold label or gold series, I can't remember which one, what they call it, I think it's gold label or gold series um, which is the blue one on the left here um, which I believe is exclusive to Walmart in the States and in Canada you can get it at um, Toys R Us. I got one on Toys R Us Online. And then there is the standard version which is more uh, designed to look like the actual way he looks in the uh, covers and comic books and whatnot. This is kind of a newer design for him I guess specifically for the gold series or gold label. And yeah, pretty cool. We're getting new spawn figures. It's kind of crazy what the uh, Mortal Kombat 11 spawn and I would say even the DC Multiverse line has kind of done for uh, McFarlane Toys that we're getting new spawn figures. And we're kind of starting off with uh, the Mandarin spawn, which I know has gotten a few different releases. Uh, back in the day when uh, McFarlane Toys uh, still produced a bunch of spawn figures. Um, I don't know if there's... These, if these spawn figures are part of a spawn like line of figures that is going to be coming out or what. I know that McFarlane really recently teased the uh, Gunslinger spawn figure is going to be coming at some point, I'm assuming soon. Um, he teased that figure. So it looks like we'll be getting more different spawn figures, but if you're not familiar with uh, the spawn comics or whatever, there's a bunch of different variations of spawn throughout the generations. Um that some usually get like one shots or a couple issues for themselves. Uh, Mandarin spawns one of them during, you know, like feudal Japan or whatever. I'm not, I'm not an expert or anything like that, but you know, Mandarin samurai like guy, pretty cool stuff. And with these spawn figures, it's kind of like, you don't really need to know too much about them. They're just cool looking figures, cool looking characters. And that's kind of what the Mandarin spawn is. I got the gold series one uh, it's been a little while now, maybe almost a month ago now at this point. And I just recently got the standard release, which uh, I got at EB Games in Canada. I don't know where else he's going to be available, but that's where I got mine. Um, and I wasn't going to get the original release because I already had this one because under the impression that they were just repaints, that these two used the exact same body and that they were just repaints of each other. And while they use the same base body, there's actually a lot of differences between the two figures that I did not know about. Um, because at a glance, uh, from promo shots and, uh, just glancing at it, maybe in the store or whatever, you wouldn't think there's a lot different with these figures, but there actually is quite a bit of differences to these guys. And it's really interesting because they're both generally the same design, but there's all these subtle differences that make them actually fairly different, but the same at the same time. If you kind of are following what I'm saying there. Um, but yeah, so, uh, let's cover, I'm going to cover both of them at the same time. Let's talk about the gold, uh, the gold series or gold label one first, because it's the one I've, I've had the most. Um, they both come with, um, this, uh, the, uh, black display base that's been coming with the multiverse figures and it has the spawn logo. Pretty cool. And I always like it when figures come with display bases, they can be useful. Um, in this case, the figure's feet are fairly big where you don't really need it, but I like displaying them with them anyways, and this helps for some of the more dynamic posing. Um, but they both come with that. Um, but yeah, moving on to the Manor Spawn, I definitely dig the designs of both of these. Um, I kind of like how it's a more slender design. Usually you get like, you know, comic book superhero characters, they're pretty um, big, muscled, bulked up, but he's actually a tall, quite tall and lanky, which I think is pretty cool. Um, gives him a much more unique look. Moving out the camera here, just take a look at the uh, head sculpt. I'll move this out of the way. You got the uh, head sculpt here. I'm trying to light in here more, which looks really cool. Um, you got all those, you know, Japanese sort of uh, cultural designs, I guess, going into this guy. I really like the Spawn logo on the forehead there. He's got these teeth and everything. And you know, one thing that McFarlane always excels at is the paint and sculpt on his figures. And um, you know, they're probably gonna give extra love to the spawn figures, and these guys do look really great. Um, on multiple parts on this guy, he's got some nice uh, different brushing of different colors to bring out the sculpted detail. But I love the sort of chest plate he's got going on. It kind of looks like a mouth, which is really cool. The under black suit. Um, 
even though not really painted, it's just a black, flat black. There's a lot of great sculpted detail. And you just got all these different details going on. You've got these little faces here. The big uh, two spikes going on the shoulders. The asymmetry is pretty cool. Um, one thing that's really cool as well is there is actually these little sculpted faces on the actual, um, I think they're on the elbows as well. Yeah, they're on, on the elbows and on the wrist hinges, which is really cool. kind of makes the hinges a little more seamless and not look quite as out of place as obvious hinges, even though they still are kind of obvious. Um, got this great detail on this like loincloth piece, I guess, which looks great. Got like the skull and you got these different like, I don't know what color the teal maybe or cyan like colored uh, like gems and jewels or whatever on it. Quite ornate looking really. And he's got asymmetry on the knee guards, the two different style faces, which is really cool. Um, the shin guards look great. He's got these very demon-like legs and feet. He's got these little spikes at the back there, and he's got more animalistic-looking feet and legs, um, which is pretty cool. At the back, there is uh, it's a bit more plain than on the front, admittedly, but still looks very nice. And yeah, I really like the how this guy looks. The blue is definitely a unique color for Spawn figures. He's usually, you know, how the original one, the normal one is. Uh, these are usually like uh, red, usually red is involved. Um, but in this guy, it's the blue, and it's kind of a nice, uh, a nice difference. So then, moving on with his detail, we'll go with the now uh, standard release, and this one I think looks even better. Um, this one is actually out of the two. I like this one it looks even better than the. Uh, Gold Series one. I just think that the uh, red and the shiny gold just uh, pop so much and look really, really good. Um, the Gold Series one's great, but I love the gold, black, and red on this one with the little hints of white. I think it looks great. But yeah, you can see he actually has a different head sculpt or at least face sculpt going on, which is really cool. He's got a smaller mouth, got kind of different looking eyes. He doesn't have the Spawn logo on the top. He's got different horns, which is pretty cool. I really like that. Face looks awesome. His shoulders are kind of inverse. He has the large spike on this side, but he actually only has one spike and not the two. Um, and even this shoulder pad is different from the others. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison in a second. He does share the same torso. And one small complaint I have with this guy is, for some reason, they decided to give a black wash to the chest plate, but then they didn't give a black wash to the rest of the gold parts on him, so it's kind of out of place. Um, kind of hard to see. like. On the shelf, at a distance, you won't really notice, but up close, it's it's kind of obvious, I guess. Um, but he also has a different uh, sort of robe piece here. The belt, front belt and robe piece is completely different with a different design and even a different sculpt to the texture. Uh, if you can see it there, you can see how the sculpt um, kind of tries to imitate a different fabric, which is very cool. And you got like this dragon emblem on the front, which is great. I love the little hints of green on the armor as well. That looks really nice. He has the same hinges on the uh, elbows and wrists that have the little faces on them. The knee guards are the same, but painted with the gold and this white, which I think looks really awesome. And then on the shins, this shin is the same as the Gold Series one, but then this one's actually different. He has a bit more asymmetry, which is kind of cool. And then the back's pretty much identical. And he's got the same style feet and everything. But yeah, I really love the look of this one. I definitely, out of the two, they both look great, but I think this one looks even cooler because of the colors. I just prefer these colors a lot more. And it is also more, you know, more accurate to how he looks in the comic, or at least how he looks in the um, cover art. Um, but while we have this guy out, um, before we go, I compare the two, um, we'll talk about articulation, then accessories. So articulation, um, Actually pretty good. Uh, there are some problems, but uh, it's a pretty well articulated figure. I'll uh, adjust here. So the biggest, honestly, the biggest issue is the head sculpt. Um, the articulation not very good there. I'm pretty sure there is a dumbbell joint in there, but the way the neck collar is sculpted and the way the head is sculpted itself, you basically can't, you can't look up at all. Um, and he's mostly, can only look down a little bit, so it's... Uh, and somewhat straight, so half, a lot of the time when you have him pose, it kind of looks like he's looking down and you can't really get him looking up, which is pretty unfortunate. You can rotate it, but it's kind of rough. You can't get it to ha rotate. And then there is a bit of pivot in there, nothing crazy, but there is pivot there. Um, shoulders, 
they move out the shoulder pads at least this one's of softer plastic so it gets out of the way a bit it's just shy of 90 you can't get it going any further there is also that kind of joint in there that allows you to do some shifting and it actually does shift forward a decent amount so that's pretty cool there's a swivel cut at the uh, bicep on both shoulders which is great he has single hinges at the elbows move a little further than 90 which is pretty good and you also have rotation there and then you have the McFarlane style wrists, which hinge up and down or in and out, depending how you have the joint positioned. And you also have rotation. He has two torso joints, one up here and one down at the waist. And you actually get a ton of backwards crunching, which is really awesome. And then you even get a pretty decent amount of forward crunch, not as good as the backwards, but still a lot. A pretty good amount of tilt and you get rotation out of both those joints. So you get a lot of torso articulation, which is really great. Um, Unfortunately, it does, uh, oh, I wish the neck would move up more because you could get more out of the posability, but still pretty cool. Um, hinges at the hips. The spread's pretty decent. Kick forward isn't bad at all. There isn't really isn't any rotation at the uh, thigh though, which is unfortunate. You're not really gonna get any rotation there. That would have been nice. Double hinges at the knees, which move pretty good about as far as you'd need them to go, which is great. And then there is a hinge at the ankle, which can actually move up a bit. Even with the armor, the armor flexes enough where you can move it up a bit. Moves down all the way to a point where it looks kind of weird. And then you also do get a bit of pivot. The pivot's not crazy, but there is some pivot there, um, which is pretty great. So you can get this guy in some pretty cool poses. And I, don't know, I can just try to do something for you real quick here. I still have the, uh, get the stand out of the way. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna hold him in place. You can get him balanced out on his own. I'm trying to be relatively quick. I don't wanna waste too much time. Um, but you can get him, you can get him posed pretty well. He's definitely got a lot of posability. Definitely some limitations as well, but pretty decent articulation. Um, for the price point, I'm definitely not complaining too much. Uh, let's straighten him back out here. In terms of accessories, these guys both come with two bladed weapons. They both come with this kind of um, large sword-like weapon, which is very cool. It's got a dragon sculpted there. You got the dragon's mouth at the bottom. This one has uh, red and gold and silver paint apps, which I think looks really cool. Um, the, the gold series one, or gold label one, is uh, blue with a little bit of that uh, teal, that feather down there, and then you have gold for the whole blade. And then the gold series one comes with this larger, like, kind of sword spear weapon. I don't know what the name of it, official name of it is. Um, but that's really cool. It's got more great sculpted detail. And he actually has the spawn logo on the blade, which is awesome. Um, and then the standard version comes with this smaller sort of uh, sword weapon that has a uh, kind of long grip on it that has silver, gold, and red, which, again, looks really good. And he holds... Both weapons pretty well because of these. This sword's uh, so large and it's a pretty hefty hunk of plastic. This one does tend to like tip around on the in the hand, but it it won't fall out of the hand, so not a big deal. And yeah, just taking these guys closely, you just kind of can see. Um, not when I do that, you can kind of see the differences. They got different head sculpts there. You can see the shoulders are completely well, not completely, but pretty different. These shoulders are different. The cloth there, the little cloth things there are different. The legs, oh, that's not the right one. <laughs> the legs there are different. So there's a lot actually different um, uh, with these guys, which is very cool. Um, so it doesn't, uh, I don't feel like I'm buying exactly the same figure, which is why I don't usually do a whole lot of repaints, but uh, this is really well done. I was not expecting so much new sculpt uh, between or different different sculpt between the two. So overall, these guys are really cool figures. Um, they're definitely for the Spawn audience. Um, if you're a fan of Spawn and a fan of specifically the Mandarin Spawn, I uh, definitely recommend picking them up. Um, if you just like the designs of these, you're not really familiar with the Mandarin Spawn, but you just like the look of this figure, it's a really cool action figure just in itself, and I recommend picking it up um, at the price point. Uh, I think you can't do much better. Excellent sculpt, more than serviceable articulation, good array of accessories, um, a few minor problems, but nothing too major. 
and overall really solid releases that I definitely recommend. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Instagram, which I have a link down in the description. And I'll see you all in the next one.